Welcome back. Starting out warmer around the region, again, we should get up to around 65 degrees for highs at the Binghamton Airport, and we're at 64 right now, so we're still much warmer than we should be at this time of the day, but not as warm as what we saw yesterday. We were in the 70s in a lot of places at this time yesterday, so a little bit cooler, I guess you could say. As I said, 64 at the airport, 65 at Union Endicott High School, 61 down in Vestal. Uh, Bill and Whitney Point called in with an even 60 degrees, and over at the Green Airport, they're at 64 degrees. Temperatures are going to stay a little bit cooler than they were yesterday because we're socked in with cloud cover. Really, the entirety of the East Coast and the Northeast and all of New York State right now covered with clouds. And our clouds have been increasing as we've progressed through the morning. Uh, earlier in the morning, it was kind of some a mix of stars and clouds, and then the clouds started to increase, and now it's a completely covered sky, a completely overcast sky. And there's also some fog out there, so be careful as you're heading to work because there are some very dense areas of fog, especially in those deep valleys that are, that are prone to it. The clouds are creating some rain, but it's not a tremendous amount of rain. As you can see around here, these showers are kind of spotty, and as they pass through, they are breaking up a little bit. And uh, as, as you can see, they're moving from the southwest up to the northeast, and there are some breaks down here in Ohio that will be coming towards western and central New York State as we head through the morning today. So it's not going to be a continuous rain for the entire day today, but we'll call it spotty showers, maybe some random showers around the region. And then as we progress into the afternoon, we may see a thunderstorm as well because uh, there is some moisture in the atmosphere. Things are going to be a little bit humid out there. But again, not as humid and not as hot as what we saw yesterday. This front is going to gradually kind of take its time getting out of there. And as it gets out of here, all the moisture that's associated with it is going to push off as well. The front is still going to be with us at about 8 o'clock tonight. The low pressure really centered right around Greater Binghamton. But then it's going to start, as I said, to move out overnight tonight, and that's because it's going to be helped along by this blast of cool air which is coming down from Canada. And cool air is relative here. Temperatures are still going to be in the 60s or so, it's, but it's definitely going to be cooler. So it's going to feel pretty cool because it's been so warm the past couple of days, and these cool conditions will push the front out of here, and we'll end up seeing a nice weekend. Scattered showers this morning, though, and some dense fog, especially in those valleys, as I said, a temperature of around 60 degrees in, in, the, in a different location this morning. Mostly cloudy as we head through the day. Warm and pretty sticky out there too. 71 degrees for the midday and a high of 76 degrees at the airport. 78 degrees in the valleys with a chance of some showers and an isolated thunderstorm or two. Tonight mostly cloudy skies and a chance of a shower overnight. And those showers will continue through the day on Friday. Uh, it depends on the, the different models are saying different things right now. Some of them have rain staying with us through most of the day tomorrow. I think that the, uh, that the rain is going to stop probably in the early afternoon tomorrow, and it'll take a little while for those clouds to burn off tomorrow afternoon, but then tomorrow evening into, into tomorrow night, it should be a pretty nice night, and that's going to set us up, folks, for an absolutely fantastic weekend. Look at that. Saturday and Sunday, high pressure builds in. We'll see a high of 69 on Saturday, 74 on Sunday, and then the beginning of next week looking nice as well. So just a little bit of rain to deal with today, and then nice weather for the rest of the week. Now it's time to see what the kids are having for lunch today, probably staying inside for recess. Here's the rock on cafe lunch menu. Hello, I'm Caleb Manwaring from Tioga Elementary School. Today's Rock on Cafe menu is chicken stir fry with rice, orange slices, a roll, fortune cookie, and milk. Remember to stop by your cafeteria and check out your new Rock on Cafe. Chicken stir fry, something a little different for the kids? Yeah, I'm liking the stir fry. He seemed excited about that. I too. think so. It's something a little different than the cheeseburger and yeah, pizza. Yeah, absolutely. That's good All stuff. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, Jordan, thanks for that forecast. Right after the break, a check of your local stocks. Plus.